Hello, I'm Reva. Our today's topic is lesson planning, making use of 5E model. The 5E instructional model can be used to design a science lesson and is based upon cognitive psychology, constructivist learning theory and best practices in science teaching. So let us see what this 5E model is all about. The 5E model developed in 1987 by the Biological Sciences Curriculum Study, popularly known as BSCS, promotes collaborative active learning in which students work together to solve problems and investigate new concepts by asking questions, observing, analyzing and drawing conclusions. The 5E model is based on the constructivist theory to learning, which suggests that people construct knowledge and meaning from experiences. By understanding and reflecting on activities, students are able to reconcile new knowledge with previous ideas. In the classroom, constructivism requires educators to build inquiry, exploration and assessment into their instructional approach. This means the teacher plays the role of a facilitator, guiding students as they learn new concepts. The 5E cycle consists of cognitive stages of learning that comprise engage, explore, explain, elaborate and evaluate. Please notice that all these words begin with E, hence the name 5E model. The first word is engagement. What does it mean? In this first phase of the cycle, the teacher aims to assess students' prior knowledge and or identify possible misconceptions. This student-centered phase should be a motivational period that can create a desire to learn more about the upcoming topic. Students may brainstorm an opening question or ask themselves, what do I already know about this topic? Discrepant events, demonstrations, questioning or graphic organizers such as KWL charts may be included to create interest or generate curiosity. A KWL chart asks students to brainstorm and record what they know, want to know and eventually have learned about the topic. KWL stands for Know, Want and Learn. The KWL chart is used to pre-assess student prior knowledge and is oftentimes referred to throughout the duration of the lesson. The instructional task is identified. However, this phase does not serve as a time to lecture, define terms, provide explanations or record definitions. To engage means to excite and to draw your child or student's curiosity. It means to create a situation that catches their attention. It is not forcing children to learn, but inviting them to do so. This is how lessons are introduced. It does not have to be difficult or overly detailed, just interesting enough to open students' minds for the learning process to begin. Using technology to engage student learning makes planning very easy for teachers in today's classrooms. Using smart board technology, videos, illustrations, asking questions, KWL charts, reading a great book, Acting out a character or even introducing a game are ways to engage students at the beginning of a lesson. Exploration is the next word. Following an engagement phase that promotes a mental focus on the concept, the exploration phase now provides the students with a common concrete learning experience. This phase is also student-centered and incorporates active exploration. Students are encouraged to apply process skills such as observing, questioning, investigating, testing, predictions, hypothesizing and communicating with other peers. This phase of the learning cycle tends to incorporate the main inquiry-based activity or experience which encourages students to develop skills and concepts. The teacher's role is one of facilitator or consultant. In addition, students are encouraged to work in a cooperative learning environment without direct instruction from the teacher. This phase is also unique because the students are given a hands-on experience before any formal explanation of terms, definitions or concepts are discussed or explained by the teacher. Explanation is the next word of the chain. A minds-on phase follows the exploration phase. 
and this is more teacher directed and guided by the student's prior experience during the exploration phase. The explanation phase enables students to describe their understanding and pose questions about the concepts they have been exploring. It is likely that new questions will be generated. The explanation phase is an essential part of the 5E lesson. Before the teacher attempts to provide an explanation, the students must first have the opportunity to express their own explanations and ideas. Thus, the initial part of the explanation phase is a time for the teacher to serve as a facilitator and ask the students to describe and discuss their exploration learning experiences. After the students have had the opportunity to share their own explanations, the teacher introduces scientific and technical information in a direct manner. This phase includes clarification of student misconceptions that may have emerged during the engagement or exploration phases. Formal definitions, notes and labels are provided. The teacher may also decide to integrate video, computer software programs or other visual aids to help with student understanding. The students should then be able to clearly explain the important concepts to the teacher and to their peers. Elaboration is the next word in the cycle. The activities in this phase of the learning cycle should encourage students to apply their new understanding of concepts while reinforcing new skills. Students are encouraged to check for understanding with their peers or to design new experiments or models based on the new skills or concepts they have acquired. The goal of this phase is to help develop deeper and broader understandings of the concepts. Students may conduct additional investigations, develop products, share information and ideas, or apply their knowledge and skills to other disciplines. This is a great opportunity to integrate science with other content areas. Elaboration activities may also integrate technology such as web-based research. Evaluation is the next in the cycle. Assessment in an inquiry-based setting is very different to that in traditional science lessons. Both formal and informal assessment approaches are appropriate and should be included. For instance, the use of non-traditional forms of assessment such as portfolios, performance-based assessment, concept maps, physical models or journal logs may serve as significant evidence of student learning. During an inquiry-based lesson, assessment should be viewed as an ongoing process with teachers making observations of their students as they apply new concepts and skills and looking for evidence that the students have changed or modified their thinking. Students may also have the opportunity to conduct self-assessment or pair assessment. However, the evaluation may also include a summative experience such as a quiz, exam or writing assignment. Although the 5E model has just been explained in serial order, it is often necessary to reverse back into the cycle before again going forward. For instance, numerous explore, explain rotations may need to occur before the students are ready to transition to the elaboration phase. The teacher may move back and forth several times within the ease or may include an additional engagement prior to starting an elaboration phase. The cycle is very flexible and dynamic. It may take many days to complete the lesson or unit. It is not necessary to complete one learning cycle each day that science is taught. The model is designed to facilitate conceptual change and contribute to more consistent and coherent science instruction. Let us briefly have a look at its applications and effectiveness. The 5E model is most effective when students are encountered new concepts for the very first time because there is opportunity for a complete learning cycle. The 5E model allows educators to create a unique learning experience for students. Teachers who can incorporate instructional models like the 5E model into their classrooms help students build a strong foundation of knowledge through active participation. Let us now try to understand the model using the concept sound is produced by a vibrating body. Engage is the first activity in the cycle. The teacher exposes the students to various situations of production of sound by vibrating body and facilitate them to observe carefully. She draws students attention to situations like touching the front side of the neck when singing or making a sound, allowing to strike a metal bowl, a bell, 
etc. and touching the object gently and recording their feelings. Watching carefully a video film on different musical instruments to know how these are played. Speaking her name loudly from the open end of a tin can, at the end of which is covered with a stretched balloon and few pieces of grains are kept over it and observing the movement of grains. Explore. Let us see what is done so that the students explore the activity. Students observe and gain some experiences of how sound is produced in different situations. The teacher helps the students to explore what are common to all the above activities. Students observe that sound is produced in each case. The teacher asks, what is the second common thing you observe in all these situations? They say, it is vibration. One of the students asks, how sound is produced in a table by tapping it when no vibrations are noticed in it? Explain is the next word in the cycle. The teacher interacts with the students and helps them to explain why they cannot notice the vibration in a table. To give the students a concrete idea that mechanical energy can produce vibration, the teacher facilitates them to perform activities such as take a tuning fork and beat it on a hard rubber pad. Do you hear a sound? Now bring the vibrating tuning fork and dip the tip of both the prongs in the glass of water and observe carefully what happens. Bring the vibrating tuning fork near a table tennis ball suspended with a thread. What do you observe? The teacher facilitates them to conclude that the prongs of the tuning fork are vibrating. In some cases, the amplitude of sound is so small that we cannot see them. However, we can feel them, the teacher explains. Elaborate is the next word in the cycle. Teacher encourages the students to suggest some more activities, experiments from real life situations where sound is produced and vibration can be felt. Students share their experiences from their daily life about this concept. Evaluate is the next word in the cycle. Students' knowledge construction is tested through suitable questions and observation of their inquiry and process skills of science and participation in classroom activities. The teacher assesses each part of the activities involving students in formulating learning indicators and tasks specific to learning indicators. She also facilitates pair assessment and self-assessment of students. Using a rubber band, a pencil box and two pencils, students perform an activity to observe that sound is produced by a vibrating body. The 5E instructional model serves as a flexible learning cycle that assists curriculum developers and classroom teachers create science lessons that illustrate constructivist, reform-based, best teaching practices. To conclude, I hope today's talk will help you in understanding the 5E model of lesson planning in a better way. As you know, this model is a student-centric model and making use of this model in lesson planning will help your students do science in a better way. Thank you.